How to learn to program. I'm currently doing BTEC in Computer Science Engineering in Nerist University and have completed my diploma from Rajiv Gandhi Government Polytechnic Tanagar. So basically I've been programming for four years now and I'm not really good at it but I do fine. I don't write clean codes and the algorithms I use are not the most efficient but I'm still learning and I have applied my knowledge to game development which has helped a lot. Also I have started uh, learning Flutter which is used to make apps so probably I'll be making apps in the future. <laughs> so anyway why am I telling you this is because I'm not an expert and that, it, and that is good because I have the mindset of a learner and if you want to learn programming what better teacher than a friend who knows better right? <laughs> So basically what I'll do is, uh, I'll, I will not go in depth and I will not teach you anything but, but for now I'm just going to look at the top sites that has a page dedicated to uh, programming for beginners and review them and you know try to correlate it with my experience and, and tell you whether this advices work or not or have I used them or have I faced those things. So let's get started. So the first site is BitDegree. Um, and they have this how to code for beginners blog so let's see okay so what is coding it says most programmers would agree that coding is the act of writing code that is compiled to form programs that can be executed by a computer or a code reader and that has a specific function or set of set of functions at first glance i, I uh, you know you might be confused so I'll just give you my version of what pro programming is. Programming is basically a way to teach one of the most stupidest thing in the world that is a computer. Now you might think computer stupid, it's, it does so many things and it's better than humans. It has such memory power, it, it has such processing power. How can it be stupid, right? Well, all those things a programmer has to code. All those instructions are given by programmers to the computer to be able to do them. When you click on something and you interact with the PC, it all has been coded by a programmer. And, and programmer gives instruction to the PC on what to do. So that's basically programming. N now there are different types of programming. The programming that I use is a high level language, which means it's basically English. So we are typing codes like if, then else, if this, if not this, then else. They are later converted into a language which machine can understand and machine it, it only knows two things that is one and zero i'll talk about it more in the future in upcoming videos for now let's leave it that way let's focus on this why should i learn to code because coding is fun that's true coding is so much fun when you're working on a thing and you know it gives you immense pleasure when it clicks right when things happen the way you intended it to and you know it's it's quite fun it's like you're playing game for coding is like you're solving puzzles and all no? coding is not just typing random random things on keyboard it's more like problem solving you solve problems and you know it's like puzzle puzzle game coding will give you valuable skills true see just by learning a bit of programming i have made myself capable of learning to develop a game it took time but it's a skill that i develop I, I yeah so it does give you valuable skills learning how to code will provide job security yeah it's true not in arunachal though because the northeastern side don't have computer science related uh, yeah we do have like neris we can do uh, teaching stuff like professor and all a lecture but other than that there the scope of programmer is not high here but if you see on the rest of india it's in high demand and if you are a good programmer you start to earn high bucks if you're a good programmer even the starting package is like near lakhs and i saw this somewhere uh, that we are surrounded by technology right but still only three point something percent sorry not three i think 0 0.3 only those person can program which means there is a, a scarcity of programmers in the world so yeah it does provide job security if you're looking for a job outside Arnold. I know someone who got job based on uh, pro his programming skills here. I don't know, I'm, I'm not <laughs> qualified to speak about jobs and all. Step by step guide to coding for dummies. <laughs> I, so, I see this a lot, chemistry for dummies, game development for dummies. <laughs> 
Step 1. Work out why you want to learn how to code. What sort of skills you want to end up with. Why, why do you want to learn to code. How much time and money. I don't think this is important. Let's Step 2. Choose the right language. Java, Python, Ruby. So. Okay, so I think it doesn't matter which, which programming language you are choosing because whichever programming language you choose, it will benefit you. And moreover, the concepts are same throughout. And if you learn one programming language, in order to learn another, it's just a matter of learning the syntaxes. And syntaxes is just the way things are written. The core concepts are same, apart from few added features and and change in syntax so that java java is a great programming language and it's very popular android uses java so uh, python python is very easy it was i think it was developed for children actually python was created um, to make children learn, learn programming because python is very easy um, the language is very high level and you know it's easier to understand and that doesn't mean that it's like less powerful than other it's very powerful it's used it is used by data scientists and all and for you know researchers and all it's very powerful see even artificial intelligence and machine learning ruby ruby i think it's a uh, it's for web development i think i i'm not sure ruby is a language that that is becoming increasingly popular for full stack web de web development it, it allows for smooth integration of both of front and back end components of a new website front end is what you see in the face value uh, whatever you see on the screen is the front end so uh, the, all the design and stuff and how the thing how things work th that's front end and back end is where um, for example like where your information are stored and all the the main system solidity i never heard of solidity um, cryptocurrencies and blockchain development cryptocurrency i think you guys know and um, blockchain i think it's information that is stored in cluster of computers I, i'm not sure like it's not it, it is stored in multiple computers and you can access it security purpose i think and you know being anonymous i think I, i'm not sure i'm i'm I, i'm not going to talk about it. html html is hypertext markup language it's one of the simplest language to learn see it's, it's one of the simplest language to learn it's very simple and it's used for web development i think i'm not sure i don't know if it's only used for that css css i think it helps html to look better i think it's used most ex exclusively alongside html to style and format content on web pages see javascript javascript is very popular it is, it's in the top of most popular java uh, languages i think let me let me search <laughs> okay according to clever road python it is in the top is it i knew python was popular but okay according to this java is the most popular then c c is one of the oldest languages python C++, C Sharp, C Sharp is uh, used in Unity, I use it to make games. Visual Basic, I don't know what's this. JavaScript, I, it should have been more popular. PHP, Swift, Swift is used for iOS development. Uh, like if you wanted, want to make apps or games, you use Swift for iOS. SQL, SQL is uh, used for data, data management. Step 3, choose the right resources to help you learn online coding courses i've tried online coding courses but but it didn't it didn't suffice uh, it was not that good not that it's bad or anything but i prefer the teacher more than online courses i don't know it, i couldn't click with online courses not that it's bad or anything uh, you can try it textbooks i've never referred to a textbook i've been you know learning only via my teachers or the internet youtube videos are very helpful i think uh, online in, instead of getting online courses you should focus more on youtube videos and your teachers i think download a code editor and keep learning of course let's move on to next one next is from lifehacker.com the best way is to teach yourself to code okay choose the right programming language again I think beginners should focus on C and C++ because it's C is the oldest language and C++ is very hard. 
so once you learn them everything else seems you know easier focus on learning computational thinking instead of hyper focusing on learning a specific programming language you can also learn to problem solve problem solve yes just learning how to code will not make you a good programmer it's the way you solve problems is whenever someone asks me how how did i learn to program i i will always tell them that first you'll have to think like a programmer <laughs> and to do that you have to at least start practicing programming and you know try to try to incorporate what you learn in real life world improve your skills at concepts like pattern recognition algorithms and abstraction there's there's also lingo like loops which are bound to pop up in any language you use loops are basically uh, yeah it's a loop so if you write a program and put it in a loop it will you know repeat itself uh, you can also add uh, conditions where it will stop for example like if you want in game if suppose if you want the character to go until it reaches the finish line you can code it in a way like loop player move until it reaches the end check out some inter interactive tutorials or coding games yeah this is actually a good good tip because when you play coding games you learn how to think like a programmer practice with personal project <laughs> the reason I started game development is because I needed a project to submit for my diploma and I submitted a game called Swaj Bharat Abhiyan and it got recognized and it came on newspapers and stuff I even got an interview and all I'll show you guys someday it's very cringy <laughs> so I don't want to show you guys it. the reason I got better at programming is because I started to apply it and I'm not saying I'm an expert at programming but my basic and fundamentals are a bit strong because of game, my game development. Google your error message. This, this is the thing. <laughs> you might be thinking that programmers are like they think and they type and everything, you know, comes out magically. No, <laughs> we have thousands of errors and we use Google to search for them. Uh, there's a site called, yeah, you can see here, Stack Overflow. If you're starting to learn programming, you'll visit Stack Overflow quite often. Hack someone else's code. I saw this before also, but when you reverse engineer someone else's Okay, okay. So what, what's it saying is that you take someone else's code and you reverse engineer, which means to dissect it and, you know, try to understand how he did that. So my data structure professor, uh, Professor Amar Tagu, he shows us his code. He, he makes sure we understand them. Then he asked us to try it out ourselves. So that's basically reverse engineering. We are, you know, reverse engineering his code and trying to implement it as ours. It's it's actually tried and tested method and it works. Get a mentor or teach someone else. I have a mentor and I'm also teaching someone. I'm teaching two of my friends to program. This is by Code Conquest, free coding guide for beginners. Cheat sheets. Cheat sheets are very useful because everything that you need to memorize is you know you can print it out as a as cheat sheets and there are lots of websites that provide you cheat sheets if you're learning to program just download cheat sheets for that programming language and you know paste it on the wall and whenever you have confusion you can just look at the wall and you know okay this one is from hacker.io how to learn programming get familiar with programming language you can start learning the basic syntax syntax is the way to write uh, syntax are you know fixed way to write something uh, and if you you know mess up with the syntax lots of error comes out so uh, syntax memorize the syntax data types data types are the type of data which can be stored there are integers which basic, basically stores numbers char which is used to store characters string which is not a data type uh, my professor told me it's it's a class but it can be considered but it, it's considered data type string stores sentences i think i don't know if i should say sentence or not but multiple characters then there's float which stores decimal number and etc variables variables are like vessels where you can store the data loops as i said earlier is for looping arrays 
variable stores data right array store multiple data it stores data of a same data type yeah it can either be integer character or data structure and algorithm i'm learning this now i just had a class earlier on data structure it's basically the way of storing data efficient way to store data it's it's very interesting um, once you learn programming and enter into data structure that's where your you know coding life gets interesting so yeah that's it um, i'll be making more videos on coding in the future but for now that's it and don't worry the games are coming it's just that games do take time right <laughs> so please be patient so i hope you guys enjoyed um, leave a like if you did and subscribe and hit the bell icon